Looks like it's a. Um... Oh, gee, now you want me to take a real one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Now you want real information. I had some great fake news for you. This is Ultragraph FBQ Pro. So that is a graph. That's a. That's a. Their feedback thing. Is it? All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd be FBQ 1502. Yeah. So that's, both sides of that are going left and right. Okay. So I don't know what he's got, oh. monitors or mains or whatever. Alright, so it's main out right. It's main right. Alright. Okay. These are um, full okay. power All right. runs that are going back up. Okay. Alright. That should fit this other one here. Yeah. Oh, sure. Please fit. Yeah, you got that? Yep. All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. May it be okay to hang over the front here as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the legs are wrapped. Just perfectly. Are they? Okay. Okay. Oh, you got it? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that looks familiar. Say what? Say that looks familiar. <laughs> Okay, so um, as you saw there, we have switched out the Allen Heath board there you see on the floor. Uh, it's got some noisy controls and we're really limited on the number of monitor sends we can use on it. So we thought uh, we'd try something different and bring in the uh, Presonus 1642. This is the board we use for smaller shows. Uh, I think this is going to work. It looked like all the cabling and everything has uh, transferred over correctly on the back of it. Down here are the uh, aux ends. That's what our concern was. So anyway, we're going to give this a try. Okay, the band's here. They're uh, setting their stuff up here for tonight's event. Uh, but we're going to be focusing on the board, make sure we can get uh, everything done with it as much as possible. And uh, the keyboardist here, he's going to get some cables and he's going to run uh, an extra cable down here to the board for his monitor. So we're going to be hooking that up. Okay, we're just going to start off with a um, basic, yeah, basic setup that we've used before in the past.
not going to set any EQs for anything right now on the, uh, on the drums. We're using a compressor on the bass. And like in uh, the past videos, we don't want the compressor to come on immediately. We want the uh, bass waveform to develop first. Then we want to compress. We usually stick around uh, 50 milliseconds to uh, around 80 milliseconds uh, before the compressor turns on uh, when we are compressing the bass. So our attack is going to be at 50 milliseconds. We do want rather fast um, release of maybe 100 milliseconds. And for the bass, it should never be set to auto or soft. And uh, like on the other ones, we're not too sure what the EQ is going to be. So um, even though we got them turned on here, they're really sort of flat. We're going to leave it at that. This is the sax. So again, we're sort of starting out with a flat EQ on the sax. Like we're not going to turn anything on, but I am using a soft, uh, if you will, softening on the compressor for the sax. And the sax mics are going to be gated. And once again, we want to keep the, um, we want to keep the uh, stage mics as quiet as possible. Uh, he should be okay here. We will put a compressor on it. And we're not using these two here. Okay, on the vocals. Oh, and let's go back and make sure that our, our subgroups here is one. Okay, that's right. Uh, yeah, bass is going to be by itself. Uh, there we go. Guitar should be in three instruments. Three instruments. Keys. Three. This is vocals. One, two, three. So we got that right. Five. Take my main over here. Check this. All these should be set to main. And they are. So let's get. Uh, yeah, let's get one of the mic. One of the mic channels set. So we got it. We're trying to change the steering wheel all week, but it's never been off. Yeah. I don't think we're going to need a hit on that. We're going to turn the compressor on. We can use a soft, and we probably will use the auto on it. Whoops! This has a place to start. Uh, let's see. Lows. Roll off the 12 there a bit. All right, we're going to take this. We're going to take this channel here, and we want to make it copy it over here to these other channels. Okay. All right. Make sure I got it right. Okay. Now we just copy this one channel here. One vocal channel, 12 the other vocal channels. Once again, there'll be a place to start. Once they get started, we'll go in and start making some EQ just adjustments. Let's look at the effects. Okay, the effects there are fine. Uh, this is our reverb up here. Let's select our reverb, and I've got it set to going to subgroup three. We're going to set it to four. That's so um, the return of the reverb. The reverb is going to go to um, this subgroup channel here. That's what we can sort of dial in on reverb. Uh, we usually don't need too much reverb. Jim, Jody's, let's try that. Dennis, there's nobody there.
pleasure, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, we can do that. Taking a break right now, and um, I don't know if you could tell or not. On the board, uh, looking at the outputs over here, there was um, the board is approaching its limits, so I am trying to keep it down. Uh, we're using the house PA. The only thing that's here that belongs to us is this board. The amplifiers, uh, all the speakers, belongs to the house. Um, I think they've turned their amplifiers down actually, so we're having to run the board a little bit hotter than normal.
Okay, everything's put back. Uh, we've got the board. Got the board back uh, where it belongs. Um, anyway, the band's putting stuff up, so it's a really good night tonight. Alright guys, thanks for watching.